just what does the cup win this season done for belief in the squad and in terms of you know getting into another cup competition for you guys? Yeah, it's uh, it's magnificent. Obviously, it's a massive achievement for us all, and uh, something we can build on. Uh, we knew at the start of the season we didn't obviously start well, but our performances were always really good. Um, and I think it's, it's shown through uh, in the sort of latter parts of the season that we can go and we can go and play anyone and, and beat anyone on our day. So um, we need to continue that, and uh, we look forward obviously to this next cup challenge. Obviously, you sort of missed out in having that, you know, the fans at Hamden this year. Um, obviously, you're, you're, obviously, there's still be plans to sort of celebrate the, the League Cup win once, uh, you know, things sort of improve. But, I mean, would it be better if you could sort of get another Cup win and, you know, really sort of ramp up those celebrations and... It certainly would, yeah, yeah. Obviously, gutted and disappointed that we couldn't have the fans there. But, obviously... With uh, things the way they are, it's it's better for for all parties to to stay safe and and uh, yeah, that's how it worked out. So um, obviously we we'll, we'll look to build on that success. Um, we want more to add more uh, trophies, obviously here at St Johnson. So um, we'll start again this this weekend against Dundee and and hopefully get into the, the next round of the cup. What difference have you noticed in the squad since? Obviously, that that day at Hamden is it is can you see boys like you know rising up in terms of their confidence levels, their stature? I mean, have you, have you noticed that within within the group? Yeah, um, throughout the whole season, the boys have been great, and the morale's been there, and the belief's been there. Um, but putting it to results has been the been the issue for us, and finding those results has been has been key to the past uh, few months and the success we've had. Um, but obviously there's, there's been players that have come in and out of the squad and squad rotation, but it just shows the depth that we've got, that we can we can do that. Um, and it's, it's been key to, to our success, I think, is, uh, is everyone being in, on the same page and with the same belief. I think you and Stevie May are the only guys in the club's history that get obviously two winners medals. I mean, getting a third, I mean, that would really sort of put you into the sort of legend <laughs> that is winter. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, uh, Michael Halloran as well, obviously. Uh, he was he was at both both cup finals, so um, it's certainly something that we're we're delighted with personally. Uh, it's a massive achievement for us and obviously for the club as well. So, um, but yeah, like I said, we're, we want to build on that. We want more success. We're we're hungry for it, and um, we know what it'll mean to the club as well to to sort of uh, to get that uh, success and. That's what we want to build on, uh, and that's what we'll look look for. And uh, we'll take it obviously one stage at a time, and that's that's by being Dundee this weekend. Finally, for me, just just on that Dundee, I mean, um, they've had a sort of mixed season, I suppose, in the championship. How, how do you view them? Yeah, um, obviously they've had a stop-start situation with with everything going on, um, but I'm sure they'll they'll be ready ready to go this weekend, and it's it's a big game for them as it is for us. So. Um, it's, a, it's a massive game for both both clubs, and um, we we'll look to look to get ourselves into the next round and, and put them out. Appreciate it, Bob. Thanks. Thank you, Andy. Hi, David. Good to see you. Um, let's look at your own form. Then you're you're playing very well. How much are you enjoying the kind of different role that the gaffer's got you playing? Yeah, I mean, it's it's. I think it suits me uh, when I'm playing and getting that bit of license. Uh, Going forward, uh, I think more uh, has suited me this year, and uh, I've just really been enjoying it and um, playing with a bit of freedom. Um, it's been good, and uh, I've been delighted with how it's gone this season. And, and uh, we've still got still got a few weeks left to, to play, so I'm hoping to to continue that form and into the end of the season. And, and just just speaking about the gaffer, let's look at the impact that he's made. Uh, it's been a wonderful first season for him. Uh, so far, of course, he's the new uh, manager of the month. Just, just what effect has he had about the club? Yeah, um, since day one, he's been he's been uh, very commanding, and uh, he knows what he wants from from his players and from the team. Um, he knows he's he's got his own own sort of style, and um, we've built into that, and the boys have believed in it, and we've we've carried it out uh, as well as we can, and. We'll continue to do that, and he's he's had a massive impact on a number of players. I think um, belief wise and and playing wise, and uh, I think I'm I'm one of them in particular. It's 
that's thriving on on his style of play and, and the way we want to to go about our business. And um, delighted for him, obviously, to get manager of the month. It's it's more than he deserves um, for what he's done with the club this year, um, and hopefully that can continue. You'll probably feel, David, this has been one of the best seasons of of, of your career, including, of course, your your first ever goal for Canada, which was yeah. was great to see. But you'll you'll be determined not to just sit back. You want to keep your foot on the gas, won't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, I want to continue it. I mean, I, I'm like I said, I'm really enjoying it. So I want to keep that keep that feeling and, and keep it going. And uh, I want to build on it as much as I can. And uh, yeah, obviously to get my first international goal was was brilliant. And uh, to play with some of the players that I did over there was was just a, a massive experience for me and one I really enjoyed. And it's something that I'll push to to get back into because um, it's. It's a, it's a pleasure and an honour to play for them and um, obviously I need to, to do that back home first uh, to, to have a chance of, of getting back in there so um, yeah I'll just be foot, foot on the gas and, and keep going And looking at tomorrow's game against Dundee of course they are the league below you but you know they'll I'm sure be keen to show that they can mix it with a top flight side and try and take a premiership scalp how, how dangerous opponents could they be? Yeah, it's, they've obviously got they've got a good squad and they'll be dangerous and um, but we need to focus on our game most most of all I think um, with the we we break we've had we need to get back to to what we're doing and um, I think this this weekend's a, a good starting place for us and um, we'll look forward to it and I'm sure we'll be ready uh, tomorrow when it comes and uh, we'll be fighting for everything because we want to get into the next round. And, and just finally for me, David, of, of course, it's a, it's a Tayside derby, which is always a bit tasty. It's a cup tie as well. It's, it's all set up for an exciting game, isn't it? Yeah, of course. Uh, you look at it and it's, it's uh, two teams that are close by and uh, we're, we're obviously wanting to get that win. And get the, Obviously, both of us will be wanting to get into the next round of the cup. So it'll be a, a fierce, fierce match and uh, I think it'll be a, a right battle. But... Um, We'll go into it believing that we can we can win and uh, we'll go and, and try and do that. Thanks, David. Good luck. Thank you very much. Hi, David. How are you doing? <clears throat> I'm good, thanks. Neil, yourself? Uh, fine, thank you. Just, just one slight technical thing, because I'm going to put out the video of this. The slide behind you is back to front again. Um, so everything's <laughs> in, in reverse. So it doesn't work much worry me, but if you guys obviously want to have a look at that, because I'm putting the video footage out, it'll look strange and back to front. You flip that round, Sam. He's, he's so it, look, it, looks so backwards. it looks backwards to you, or back to front to you, and then it, it comes up the right way. That's it. Lovely. Thank you. Um, <laughs> it's just because I'm putting the, the video footage out. I don't want it to look bad. So, um, from, from you guys' point of view, cheers. Yeah. Um, okay, we'll, we'll start off there, David. Um, how good is it for you yourself, obviously, to get off that international mark? Even though you've got to travel halfway around the world, it's, it must be such a... A pleasure to, to go and represent and as they get on that that go, that go, uh, score sheet. Yeah, no, it was, uh, it was it was a massive week for me personally um, to go out there and represent my country and and um, to get a goal and uh, three assists in the game was it was brilliant and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I was buzzing all week just to be involved with um, the team and the the whole group of staff. Um, it's just a, a great setup they've got and. Um, it's just really enjoyable to be to be there playing, um, and it was just obviously great to get my get my first goal, um, and it's something I want to build on. Taking that into the game tomorrow, that must, from from your point of view, make things so much better for you. Build your confidence. You know, you haven't been sitting about for the last ten days. You've been out there. You've been playing. You've scored a goal. Taking that into the Scottish Cup, that that must obviously have an effect on you. Yeah, yeah, I'm obviously on. I'm on cloud nine at the moment. Uh, after the past couple of months, it's just been it's been so successful, and um, it's something I, I want to keep going and keep building on. So it definitely uh, helps me and, and puts me in good stead for for tomorrow's game coming. And, and looking at that game again, it's Dundee that you're you're coming up against. They are the, the, the division below, but realistically, looking at the squad, it is a, a Premiership squad they've got there with the, the type of players. It makes a different game for it than it might do in a, a normal uh, championship game. It's the cup, which is different anyhow, but you know, it, it certainly is something that's different. 
Yeah, it's, as you said, it's a, it's a cup game. It's a one-off game, so it's it's anyone's. You see see the likes of the last the last round and the results in that last round. So you can't take anything for granted. And um, even though they are the league below, you still have to have your wits about you and be ready to 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 fight for your place in the next round. And that's certainly what we'll be thinking and uh, and believing that we can do. And that last one for me, the the Betfred Cup obviously has given you that winning experience and. In- every round up to the final. You'll be hoping, obviously, that's something that you can continue for a long period in the Scottish Cup this year. Yeah, um, we don't we don't want to we don't want to um, sit on our success. We want to we don't build on it. Um, so we'll be pushing forward as much as we can. And, and it starts again as, uh, tomorrow, as, uh, as I said. So um, it's something that we will try and build on.